Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm up at Loch Drunky today, which is part of the Three Lochs Drive. No idea what I'm going to shoot today. Really just out for a walk, stretch the legs and see what we can see. So, let's go. I like these trees. But, well, as always, where is the photograph? Just left that. It's proven to be harder than I thought. This is actually, I think, probably the first or second day that we've had any cloud covered in Scotland for about two, two and a half weeks. It's been uh, constant blue skies and very high temperatures, very humid. And uh, last night we had some thunderstorms and uh, it feels very humid again today and now the rain's on <sighs> yeah rain's on now uh, about 50 minutes into the walk now. Still no photograph, but we have some rain. So I'm just kind of braving that just now. This is getting ridiculous. Tell you what, I like this. This is lovely, but I'm kind of reluctant to get the camera out just now in this rain, it's torrential. But if we can get a little break in the rain and just let a burst of light coming through, then this would look absolutely incredible. Cool. I may continue on up the hill. The, the rain goes off in the the sun breaks through, then I'll head back down here I think, because this looks, that's probably the, the best potential photograph I've seen since I arrived. kind of like this. This is the, the trees that I was looking at earlier, saying that had potential, you know, I've got these kind of, I have no idea where they are, but these trees here, you know, but I've come to the other side of them now and I'm looking back down the, the hill that I just came up and you've got this little pathway disappearing into the trees as well which is just adding to it. The sun's kind of in that general direction at the moment so if we had a burst of sunlight through, through this scene I think that would look quite special but at the moment it's a big if because this rain is incessant. Do you know what? I don't think the rain's going to go off. But it has lightened a little. So I think I'm going to grab this shot. You've got these trees kind of curving over the path. The winding path taking you down into the distance. I'll probably underexpose it by a bit of stop. Just to kind of emphasise that kind of moody feel that we've got. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take that. I think, from memory, I think I've got the 16-35mm lens on at the moment. That was the last one I used. So, I'll probably just shoot with that. Handheld, because I'm not going to muck about with a tripod at this time. While I'm at it, I'll probably take a step back down this way a little bit and shoot back up at these trees that I admired when I first saw them. And uh, that can be Two shots in the bag, hopefully. Right, let's do this.
the rain's kind of eased off a bit now, it's kind of just about a biblical flood levels now. That was wild. Yeah, that definitely seems to be the thing that's catching my attention today is forest paths. Disappearing off into the, into the distance. We do definitely have some blue sky up there, but it's to the north and the sun's nowhere near it, so I don't think we're going to get any brilliant bursts of sunlight coming through anytime soon. We remain optimistic. We definitely have a little hint of blue and a little bit of sun coming through up there, but it's still raining. In fact, here comes the sun now. Oh, wait. Ah. I'm going to run back to yell. Look at the, we've got the sun crashing through the, the trees now. I'm gonna run back, no, no, run, please, but <laughs> I'll head in a in a dignified fashion, you know, commensurate with my age. Oh, look, we have some sun directly on those trees that we're shooting. This be the, let's give it the shot. I'm going to stop, get the camera out while I can. And just like that, the rain's back on and the sun's gone again. What I have noticed though is I like this little stream which is running along the forest floor like that. I love the contrast between those red fallen leaves and these green mosses. Now, again, if we could get some direct sunlight on that, that would be nice, just purely for the colour contrast. It looks as though that stream runs pretty much parallel to the path that I'm on. So I'll keep an eye on that. And if we get near the top and the light improves, I might see if I can find a composition where we can work with that. The problem is the leaves are all here. Further up, it's just the mossy grass. So you don't really have that color contrast. It's, it's this sort of thing that I'm that I'm drawn to. Careful what you wish for. Still got the rain, but we now have a bit of uh, direct sunlight. But rather than improve that scene, I think it just makes it a bit more messy. You know, it's very contrasty suddenly. And I don't think it works with direct light after all. Anyway, uh, 
tried to grab a shot or two with the, the stream, but I don't, again, I don't think that'll work. It's a bit too clogged. Um, so I'm going to continue up the hill and see if there are any other patches of that uh, bum where we have the, the red leaves, fallen leaves, and some direct sunlight and that beautiful, almost luminous green moss. It's not much to ask for, is it? That's nice, isn't it, with the, the leaves back up with the sun there? Shadow of the tree, leaning down to that little pool of water. Grab that. Yeah, I've taken that shot, both in vertical format and in landscape horizontal. I'll decide later which one works. Our problem is there's a lot of foreground, there's a lot of, what do they call it, extraneous material which doesn't really add to the image and will probably need cloned out. But the general gist of the image, that fallen log at the stream, Beautiful moss, little patches of leaves, and then that backlit tree and those leaves. That's that's quite nice, I like that. I wonder if it's possible to get down, get a bit closer to the water, make it a bigger thing of the water, and that backlit tree, whilst also removing the distraction of these foreground trees. Go ahead, go. Right, I got that image, but I had to be quick to head back down to these trees again because I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but where the direct sunlight is now hitting the areas that were drenched a couple of minutes ago, we're starting to get some water vapour rising up and it's being backlit by the sun. Now, if we get enough of that, that might give us a kind of a misty, ethereal kind of feel to the the area. It's just in this little patch here. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. No, I don't think so. Oh, there is, yeah, you can see it. Just giving us a slight soft focus feel, a kind of slightly ethereal, misty feel. Nothing up that way. Right, sorry, I got distracted there. <laughs> the promise of some mist, which never really materialised. Uh, I did get down a bit closer to the bun and I got a uh, a better shot where the burn was actually kind of backlit, so that makes it a bit more prominent in the image. <laughs> I have no idea what that was, but it sounded like some sort of jet fighter.
anyway. Uh, yeah, I got that shot. I'm pausing here for a minute because I've just noticed this in the background here. And when I first noticed it, it was being backlit, which made it a wee bit more prominent. And I'm wondering if there's a shot there. Yeah, just like that. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, I've moved on. I'm walking my way up the hill a little bit now. I've just realised I've come to a place called the Three Locks Drive and all my photography's been in the woods. No walk photographs. Right, what I've done now is while the rain's off, <laughs> for now, I've uh, taken the opportunity to quickly change lenses. Or up until now, I was a bit reluctant to change with the, the rain being so incessant because I knew I was going to end up getting water on the sensor or something like that. So I've changed lenses while the rain's off to my uh, 20 40 one and 5 mm lens and I'm hoping that will allow me to get a little bit tighter and there's some of these compositions that I'm seeing in amongst the trees without having the need to scramble down 10-15 feet of very, very slippy embankment to get to them. So that's the thinking behind this. But having done that, sort of since I've done that, I've not actually seen any compositions that I want to photograph. Of course, the problem is when the rain goes off, all the crawling, flying and biting things come out. Not to mention the stinging things. I'm basically just following the path now. Little details in the trees, things like this, where you get just a little patch of light hitting the a part of the forest, and those little areas of light and dark. That's the sort of thing I'm shooting just now. I found one just down there. It was an old tree stump, just down in this area here. Um, and after having just changed my camera lens, I found that. I couldn't get wide enough to include the whole shot, but I couldn't be bothered changing lens over again, so I did what I could with what I had. I just spent ages taking a photograph of a particular leaf, and uh, I suddenly found myself thinking, well, what exactly am I doing? I don't know. Do you ever do that? You ever just like you get engrossed in something and you start working out how to take that particular image? Knowing fine well that you're probably never going to show it to anybody. Classic path here. So, that's us for another video. Hope you enjoyed. Give us a little thumbs up if you did. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the monthly newsletter. Or hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.